Okay, so we're just here today to speak to you, Frankie, a chance for you to connect with your followers, tell them what your story is, where you began, how you got to this point. So yeah, let's start with the story, I think. So back, I've actually brought my book and made notes so I don't forget anything. <laughs> Typical Frankie style. <laughs> always prepared. So I've always loved fashion, like always since being like the age of four. I would literally like get changed like four times a day at the age of four, <laughs> going into my mum like in a fashion show in like oh. a tutu and a top and then I'd change it and change it and change it. Oh. Like honestly, I, I've always loved fashion. And then um, I always used to like sketch it as well, you know, like I'd, I'd go in and like show my little drawings and this out of it, like drawings. Pieces of paper everywhere, yeah. colours everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> them in like pink, <laughs> pink, pink. Um, and then growing up, I always like dressed my friends and family for like events and stuff. Yeah. So if they had like an event or like something to go to, even like a dinner and they was like, I need an help. outfit, like yeah. I'd be like their go-to, like I need help, like, yeah. I need you to find me an outfit. Yeah. So I'd like look for an outfit and try and find them one, but I remember this particular event, Brittany, my friend, our friend, was going yeah. to, I can't remember where she was going, but she was going out and she was like, I need, a, I need help, I need me. an outfit. I feel like yeah. we all had a time in our lives where <laughs> you were scrolling for outfits. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, literally, so... I was looking and I just couldn't find her, like this outfit, what I so clearly visioned, like yeah. in my mind, I just had this outfit and I'd spend hours and I'd be like, Brittany, like I can't, I find can't it. find it. Yeah. She was like, well, you're going to have to change, you're going to have to <laughs> change gonna have it because I'm something. going, like I need, I need an outfit. <laughs> so I had to like change my idea, but from then on I thought I could actually do this, I yeah. could actually like, because it's so clear in my mind, it's easy. What you say and what you want. Yeah, like I could so clearly like vision what I wanted just to just wasn't out there yeah and it wasn't there so I thought right I could actually make something of this yeah and then growing up I've always shopped in like boutiques and yeah. stuff because I've always wanted something that people haven't got yeah but don't get me wrong I love Zara and I love like yeah. the high street shops but it's nice to up, be a bit different sometimes yeah like I always wanted like I didn't want to go out in in the same outfits as yeah. my friends like I wanted to look different but that comes with personality as well I think yeah like you want to dress to feel like Frankie. Yeah, literally, literally so. I went to this particular boutique and it must have been in like 2019. Yeah. And I found this top and I absolutely loved it, but like <laughs> loved it. So I remember how much do you remember? Loved this top, so I literally really wore funny, it. <laughs> I wore it so much. Like, yeah. I literally wore it with jeans. Like every occasion, every event, yeah. I would wear styled this top. Styled it differently. And styled it differently. Yeah. And wore this one top. I've actually got a photo that I can show. Yeah. The camera. Um. Let me find it. So this is the top. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like cute and pink and feminine like everything I what i love wearing it with shorts as well one yeah. time you wore it with shorts i literally as well loved as it with pants. but this top got so much attention yeah like so much attention so then i've been a dental nurse as you know since yes. like leaving school like i did a few jobs and hated them and then went into dental and loved it but i didn't really see a career in dental yeah. like it was just I liked it yeah I love like helping people and I love like like teeth and like people smile and stuff yeah. it's such a big part of my journey like growing up having like braces as being young and stuff yeah. so I always like loved that as well and then um I was in the surgery one day and this must have been 2019 yeah. and I was in the surgery and I messaged by my cousin mm -hmm. and I was like right I've got this idea and it's from this top and you'll know which top I'm on about <laughs> and I think I could really like make something of yeah. it and she was like well just give it a go like what's the first stages so I was like the first stages is to get this idea like out of my head and onto paper yeah. like a sketch so I knew a fashion um, like designer. She was she's called Mandy. She's a family friend, so she's a graphic oh, designer. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. So that was such a help. Like just I was knowing so the first lucky. person is the yeah, first hurdle. Yeah, to get this like this vision onto paper. And I remember messaging her in the surgery, like in I need between to do it patients. right now. <laughs> yeah. Like <laughs> this is my idea. Like I'm one of them people. Like if I've got this vision, like it needs to happen now. Like yeah. I want it yesterday. Like, yeah. That is that is really bad. Like I've got zero patience. <laughs> so um something that you've learned though. Oh I my think god. Definitely yeah. it's been a growth. You Massive. are more patient and you I think 
as well like you'll probably touch on it when we speak about your journey but that's probably key yeah what can be it can seem so easy but it's such a difficult journey it's such a difficult like skill to master yeah. patience especially like when you when you so you can see it so clearly and you yeah. just want it there and then and then so i messaged mandy and she was like yeah like why not like why not give this a go and draw this draw this top up so I always wanted to go for like a beige kind of colour because yeah. they're like what I wore. They was, I literally wear, as, as you can see yeah. now, I literally <laughs> wear beige all the time. <laughs> so I thought if I do like a sandy beige colour, it can go with jeans, like well, it can go with everything. Yeah. And I always wanted to add something like like unique to the top. So I thought if I add like lace to it, yeah. it's feminine, like classic, yeah. like it will stand out. Do you know, that was my thought process at the time. So we did, so I'll show you the sketch off Mandy. So this was my original design. Would you say that this then was basically designed for something that you wanted? Like yeah. you loved this top and it was something that you really wanted to wear. And again, going back to just not having anything out there that you really wanted yeah, to wear. So literally. this was based off what would make you feel good. and the feedback from other people yeah we knew that people loved it and would want to wear it yeah and i thought obviously pink's quite a bold color yeah and obviously it's not exactly the same as that pink top but it was kind of every like designer has like a reference like, yeah you always reference off something because it's been done before like yeah. do you know what i mean it's like trying to think of a letter that's not in the alphabet you yeah. can't do it no you know it's already I mean? there it's already yeah. there like it's what you it's what we all know yeah so um but but like pink was quite a bold color it is like bold. and to start a brand with something so bold like the item itself is is classed as a peacock item okay which you are like told if you're going to start a brand like you want to start with something that's going to be bold and make Stand a statement yeah. yeah so that was the top but the pink color i just thought no like just move away from that go with what i wear and what i feel good in. yeah feel good in yeah. and what i like put with jeans and you can wear it all the time for like yeah. any occasion so then we had the top drawn up and I was like, right, so now the next stage is, is to create a logo, create yeah. a brand. And I thought, well, I'm the designer and my name's kind of like flowy and yeah. like it sounds it's a feminine. Beautiful name. Yeah, yeah. Like it sounds feminine. So <laughs> I thought, right, let's just go with Francesca Rally. So yeah. I like made this logo and I would sit for hours like researching, like watching videos like how to start a brand like I used to sit in my bed with YouTube on and my book and I'd just make notes like learning videos after videos yeah of learning like I didn't go to uni I've not no. gone to college like no. it's just fulfilling a, a dream and a passion yeah and it can be done like if you're willing to put the work in but you've got to put the work yeah, in it's like, definitely not easy yeah it's not easy like, you've got to really want it so like I'd sit there for hours and my friends would be out and I'd be like sat in my bed like watching learning. videos learning yeah like because that's what it takes yeah. like that is what it takes if you want something you've got to work for it like, yeah you've got to work for it so then I started to speak to like people that was in the industry and things and they would give me advice and say like right so these are the next stages like what you need to do actually getting it from the paper yeah then like into fabric and yeah made. I need a manufacturer yeah. I need to trademark it so the first after making the logo and stuff and Mandy was drawing it up um no she'd already drawn it up sorry by this point and we'd confirmed it that's what I just showed yeah um so like I needed a manufacturer like I needed now to get it so it's gone <laughs> from my mind to a sketch now to fabric yeah like I needed to see fabric and stuff like that so then um I fat so I spoke to someone in the industry and he was like yeah so you do you trademark it by doing this and that cost me 200 pounds and that would last for 10 years like okay. you train about your business so. something that people probably wouldn't even think yeah, about like, like little things like that when you're just thinking about wanting a design and getting it made like that's literally it that is literally but it. you want it to be yours so there is so much yeah that you have to think about it's before so you can much. even get to the first point of yeah. even having one top yeah it's crazy like there's so much like little steps that i didn't even know about yeah so i'm so glad like i did reach out to people and do ask for advice like do ask questions yeah. because 
it, you need other people like you are not going to make this brand no. alone like everyone's on a journey and if you can learn from some people's mistakes and you're probably going to make mistakes that people are going to learn from yeah exactly. like everyone can be on a journey together yeah and hopefully succeed yeah exactly so then um where are we up to so i trademarked it and then i was spent hours like hours like trying to find a manufacturer yeah and i was always told to like work overseas because it's better quality and you get better it's better for your money basically yeah. rather than like going local so i did like i started looking and then this is like a crucial part if you want to start <laughs> a fashion brand um listen to this bit so um i found a manufacturer called dsa yeah manufacturing um hit them up if you want to start a fashion brand yeah they are amazing the first literally. hurdle the first been... hurdle <laughs> taken here you go <laughs> jumped and cleared if you want to start a fashion brand hit them up like they are amazing yeah i wouldn't recommend them enough so they basically act as your like middleman between you and your overseas manufacturer like overseas when you're manufacturing up like overseas is so difficult because it's timing yeah like obviously it's different time zones and the language barrier yeah it's insane like especially when you like you are still dental nursing like when you work in a full-time job yeah and trying to do something on the side that's fulfilling your dreams like you can't just be like oh sorry like we can't finish this treatment because it's time for me to go and ring yeah. china like yeah. you just <laughs> you, can't do that you it's can't just do impossible that. it's insane so they do that for you, so they was a massive part of my journey. So if you want to start a fashion brand, definitely go to them first. Yeah. That's your first thing to do. So then I got a sample done with them, and it take and it took two samples, I think, okay. to master the top and get it right how you wanted it. Yeah, how I wanted it to look, and then so once you finish your sampling, then you go to like you go to the order and you say like right, I want this many doing so i bet I that went, was quite a scary process it was scary it was really scary so i went from like this sample and confirmed it and obviously like the crucial part of this as well like you can the minimum order usually is 50 pieces okay per design like when you're working with a, it's very rare that you'll find somewhere that does less than 50 yeah. pieces a design so um yeah so we so i did that but obviously the barrier now is i'm 20 years old where am i going to get all this money from yeah like, where am i going to find this to money to start a brand stress. yeah so i started so when obviously my mum and dad and i was like right what am i going to do yeah so my dad was like well you probably won't, wouldn't get a business loan now no. so i'll get one for you so I actually got a business loan of ten thousand pounds, like okay. through my dad, to start yeah. this business because they believed in it. They was of like, course. "We can see how passionate you are, how much you want this. Yeah. Like, if we can help you along this journey, then we're gonna we'll do it." There. Yeah. So I did. So we got this ten grand loan. Yeah. And I ordered it's these tops. Happening. Yeah, <laughs> like I ordered these tops, and I'll show you. Like literally the day I got them, it was like February the fifteenth or something, twenty twenty. So this was the first logo that we'd made and trademarked. And then we, this was the top, like when I first got them and it had just arrived in like a box <laughs> and I was literally like crying. So excited. Yeah, I was literally like <laughs> crying. And then obviously and then it was like finding packaging and stuff. Yeah. So we went with this for the packaging, which is like so like plain and basic now Compared. when I look back but I loved it at, at the time. time yeah and then so that was in like February and then we did the shoot at the end of February at Menagerie yeah. and I used my friend Shay because we didn't really have much money for the no you don't want to shoot you don't want to waste not waste yeah. it all but you want to you've got this loan now and you want to try and press it Preserve, yeah, like, preserve, like yeah, because you're gonna need it to like yeah. market your brand. Yeah. Like you're gonna need that money, like, and it's cost thousands already to even get the stuff. Like freight is expensive. Yeah, like it costs a lot of money to get the tops to build the brand and to like get it get it to you, like yeah. from China. Before you've sold anything. Yeah, before you've sold anything, so it's a massive risk at like twenty years old. And yeah, I've never done anything like this before, so I was like really overwhelmed and taken back at first. And then I did the shoot, loved it. Like the, I was like, this is amazing. Like yeah. I want to do this full yeah. time. Like I absolutely loved it. And then it just went from there. Then we launched the brand with the top. And then this is like March time now. 
basically locked down. So at this, this point. is COVID, yeah. yeah so Which then... we didn't, we would never have had a clue. No. Like looking back to start a whole brand pre lockdown. COVID, like insane. Is, yeah. Like, and it wasn't even just like loungewear, it's like occasional wear. Yeah. Like, this top, you go going out. to the races. Yeah, like oh, you're you... going to a wedding. <laughs> yeah, like you're not sitting in your house in that top. <laughs> well, you could if you wanted to. <laughs> If you really want. <laughs> Honestly, so I was like, right, so what am I going to do? So my next plan, like, to go with the tops so on my original idea was to have a brand, like, based around this design. Like, yeah. that was my design and that was my peacock item, what I was going to create a brand around. Like, yeah. that was my original goal. So then I designed, so then I designed some trousers. <laughs> Again, zooming in. To go with the top. That was... So I had them sampled through DSA and absolutely loved them. I was like, yeah, this is what I want to do. Let's go for it. Yeah, and then I got the price off DSA for these trousers to go with the top. And it was the free, like the actual shipping was more expensive. Than, Absolute inflation yeah, because of COVID. Than the trousers itself. And I was yeah. like, it's not feasible. Like, I can't do that. No. Like, I wouldn't make the money back. Do you know yeah. what I mean? It just wouldn't work from a business you point keep of view. Your brand afloat at this yeah. point you've only just launched i've got one piece i've yeah. just launched like weeks ago so i was like right i'm gonna have to think then i'm gonna have to think fast because i can't use this company that's a bra like I, yeah. I can't do it so then we started looking more local so it was me and my dad actually and we was driving around like to places like local places i'd be like googling on my phone yeah. Like, as well as still posting on, like, the Instagram of this top and stuff. Because I thought, if I don't post, it's not going to grow. No. I had, like, Facebook ads running. Like, that's all trial and error. I'd yeah. spent thousands on Facebook, Facebook ads. ads. Sponsored yeah. ads. It's expensive. Yeah, I'd spent thousands of pounds because it's literally trial and error when yeah. you don't know what you're doing. You, you want to get afford. it out there to Yeah, people. like, you can't afford a marketing person. No. You've got to learn and, and try Do it yourself. yourself. Yeah. So that was all going on and in this time i had to find a new manufacturer that was local yeah and people was lot like the, the news every day was getting worse. worse like you couldn't go out your house you've I also had... got repayments for this loan that you've just got yeah i just got this lingering loan, so over your shoulder yeah, so that's like lingering over me and i'm like i've got a brand and this vision and i've now got one piece out and now we're being told it's we can't like go out someone just house. put a brick wall up in front of you yeah like it was like the biggest knockback after just yeah. getting started it was so it was scary like yeah. it was genuinely scary and then i went into this so i took my top with me yeah and i went into this manufacturer's local and i just said can you make me this like yeah. i wanted to do like and i took the trousers as well and i said the sample trousers i said can you make me this outfit like yeah. i wanted to do this in like another color say like black i think my yeah it was black my next top and my next trousers like as a suit and I thought, and he was like, the top, like, that garment is just so, it's so well made and yeah. so, um, like, structured. And it had, like, boning in the top yeah. and, like, a silicone tape. It was very, very well, well made. Like, yeah. The equality was unbelievable. Which I was think, something that you was really passionate yeah, about. Yeah, like, when you I were really wanted started. that. Yeah. yeah, like, I really wanted a sustainable, like, slow, luxury women's yeah. wear brand. So I was obviously like prided on that, like that was what the brand was Francesca about. Alice. Yeah, like literally. And then he was like, "No, we can't do that. Like we can't make that top." So I was like, "This what is am I gonna my do? top. This is it." Yeah, like what am I gonna do? But then I thought, in a way, like people aren't going out anyway. Yeah. So my plan has to change and fast. Yeah. If I want this brand to stay afloat and keep growing. Yeah. You need to do something I've quick. To, I've got to act fast. Yeah. yeah. So it was sheer panic. And I, I remember sitting in this office with my dad and I was like, what am I going to do? Like, he can't make this stuff. I'm going to have to change my whole vision, like my whole plan. Yeah. For now. Like at the times, like we'd never had this before where no. you can't go out your house. Like, no. You can't at the go time, to him, like, like I genuinely up. thought we were never, ever going out again. Like yeah. I thought this is it. Like me and the sofa are best friends. Like this is literally <laughs> this is it. it. Like this is us now forever. <laughs> so I thought I'm going to have to change it anyway. So yeah. I started designing like loungewear and pieces that was suitable for your house basically because yeah. you was what going you can nowhere. be comfortable in no one yeah. really did not go anywhere literally. the back garden yeah <laughs> literally so i did that so i started designing loungewear and stuff and that was going well like yeah i thought you know what it's, like, it's not my plan but it's going okay yeah so carried on doing that through like 20 
2020, 2021. Yeah. And then the end, was it end of 2021 we started going out again? Um, Mid-2021, I think, yeah. is when the lockdowns really eased and there was yeah. no, like... No more, like, restrictions. Yeah. So I thought, right, so this is my time now to start designing for, like... What you wanted. Yeah, like, start putting it back to events and stuff. So I actually designed... I've got some sketches and stuff. So I actually designed this play suit. My, like, old followers will remember this play suit. This play suit was, like, the bestseller. Like, okay. it was amazing. Like, that got the brand, like, back up and running. Yeah. But, like, before this, like, this is, like, another big step in the brand. So, like, before this, obviously, to keep the brand running through 2020 and 2021 money was running low again like I had this 10 grand loan and it goes nowhere yeah like, that money it sounds like an initial like wow that's quite a lot of money yeah but it's actually not when you like, factor in everything like yeah costs. and like I'd, I'd, I'd made mistakes I'd spent thousands on advertising yeah like I'd spent like thousands of pounds on Facebook ads yeah that had got me like in return hardly anything compared to what yeah, you spent yeah and i'd made mistakes down the line and i'd made stuff like with this new manufacturer that didn't really sell well and yeah like that's all part of the it journey like you are going journey. to make mistakes yeah like, you are going to mess up and that's where growth comes from like do not give up and don't no. let go of the vision because i've made mistakes and this is this was another crucial part like i sat down and it must have been like the end of 2021 yeah and i sat down with my boyfriend joe and i was like we're running low again like what are we it's, gonna do? it's bringing in money but it's not enough to plow loads of money back yeah, into it which is what it really takes yeah, if you want to keep growing takes, yeah to like keep this brand going in the direction i want it to go in and and get maybe like more stuff to go out in obviously yeah. it's, it's more expensive because there's more to it yeah so it was like right well i believe in you and this vision is I, you've got it you've got to do it like you've got to make this work so joe actually sold his rolex watch oh. yeah joe actually that sold belief his watch beyond yeah and, and give it give me the cash and I, was like go and make your dream work that like, is incredible and it honestly to this day it still gives me goosebumps like, yeah. i remember that moment so clear in my head and i was like oh my word this like, is amazing this is amazing i met joe in like march as february just before lockdown yeah and now, like, we've done, he's on this journey with me. Yeah. You can see how much I want it and yeah. how much I'm trying. And then he just, like, sold his watch and gave me the money. There you go. I and think... I was like, oh, my word, like, that's amazing. So then that's when I got that play suit and, like, yeah. started changing the brand a little bit. And then, um, like, putting better money into better marketing and yeah. make it growing it even Learning more. Learning from your Learning mistakes. Learning from my mistakes, yeah. So then... Um, I got the play suit and that sold amazing. Yeah. So I was like, right, it's kind of getting back on track. And but now I wasn't really happy with the manufacturer itself. Like yeah. I've gone from this fantastic, amazing, like quality top. Yeah. To these pieces that wasn't as good of quality. Like, as you wanted. Yeah, as I wanted. Don't get me wrong. Like there was good quality, but yeah. I wanted the best. You quality. had high standards, like before that, and that's maybe what like followers that have been here from the start wasn't that easy to put across during covid like yeah you had to design for the time yeah but you also i think had a business that you just had to keep running yeah like, and this is yeah. now an opportunity to come back and actually think i have this dream and this is what i want to do covid's maybe set me back a little bit but we need to now move forward and make sure that yeah. you're happy yeah. with what you are producing. With what I'm producing, yeah. yeah. And I, my original plan was to always do this collection around that first top. Like, yeah. That was my top. Like, Which now couldn't be made. Yeah, like at I remember. Yeah, I remember my friend like messaging me, and her sister was in Mexico. Yeah. And she messaged her sister, and and who's my friend Yaz. Yeah. And she said, um, someone's got Frankie's top on in Mexico. Amazing. Like, the top was known for my brand. Like, yeah. That was my design. So, and that's in a different country. Yeah, that's like Mexico. And I was yeah. Like, wow, this is amazing. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So that was like a massive thing for me, and I was like no i need to stick with this plan like don't ever let your vision go like if you want if you want something so much like and things change around you to 
and it's obstacles and yeah. the world will throw obstacles yeah. at you but you've just got to keep that vision and keep going and if you really want it you will get you've it you've got to work for yeah, it like I you, think it's so easy it'll to work. become disheartened as well yeah definitely when things are like seem to be going against you but then little things like yeah tops in mexico i bet that was just a pick me up yeah, moment like this away. is exactly why i'm doing it yeah keep going keep we're going. on a journey yeah this is the journey like it's making me it's molding me to the person and the brand it's meant to be yeah so going into 2022, my manufacturer was shutting down. I know. Great. So I was like, right, we need to take a break. We need to regroup. Like it's gone way off track. Yeah. And my original plan and my original idea, I still want to do it, but I yeah. don't know how I'm going to get there. And you literally have you know, yeah. no one to I even do it for you at this point. Yeah. So I was like, right, I need to regroup. And I wanted to rebrand and start again, basically. Yeah. So I started looking online and just on Instagram. Yeah. And I've always, and I followed Odd Muse London, yeah. which is like a luxury fashion brand. And Amy, the owner of Odd Muse, had started a consultancy page. Okay. For, for, for girls like me, like wanting to do what I was doing. Because she's done that, like she basically has done what I wanted to do. So I reached out and got a spot with her, yeah. like a one-to-one -one course. So then Amy helped me find a new manufacturer and a new and a new packaging like guy to get all get the next brand up and running. <laughs> yeah, again. So we did like a rebrand and we created a new logo. I had a new manufacturer, which was amazing. Like. The best manufacturer ever. Like the, the quality of the stuff, I'm so, so what happy you dreamed with. of. Yeah, yeah, like the original dream. This is finally dream. what I've always wanted. Yeah, like the original dream was here. It was happening. Yeah. So then that took like the whole of 2022 to perfect and get right because I'd created this brand like with the meaning of celebrating women, women through clothing inspired by the beauty of women. Yeah. So that was the whole like collection. Like I had seven designs designed off this peacock item, which I designed back in 2020, which I've now changed. I've got them here. Yeah. So I've now changed them. Let me just get them. Um, so I think this is the original top. Yeah, so one. that's the original top. Um, and then obviously I changed like the colorway just from learning from what people have said and like what other people are gonna wear. Yeah, I like, really love these tops. Yeah, they're so nice. So then this was today. Like you can even see like you the can difference. see and you can obviously nobody can feel it through the camera, <laughs> but the quality is like amazing. Yeah, it's beautiful. Obviously, this being a first piece, like it's absolutely stunning. You should be really proud. Oh, thanks. <laughs> so then, yeah, so then it went from that to, I'll give you that. So Thank then it you. went from that to that, and then the full collection, which I've got a little drawing of the full collection. Um, so we, we added some, like, tailoring pieces as well, just to go with the meaning and the behind the brand, like, celebrating women through clothing. And I always loved, like, who doesn't love a blazer? Yeah. You know? So <laughs> we, we love it as well. We both yeah. love a blazer. <laughs> Um, yeah, so then it took a full year to perfect yeah. and to get it right, but I knew I was on the right path now. Like yeah. with Amy having this one spot left of this consultancy, this is meant to be now. That was the sign yeah. from like the universe that like, you are on the right path. Yeah, like, always. I followed my dream and now it's here. Yeah, like it's happening. And then now we're in 2023, and I launched the brand in March, the end of March. Yeah. and yeah, that's where I'm at now. Like Finally I'm no expert, but no. I just, I just wanted to get my story out there to the world yeah. and tell people like my journey and hope it I hope it inspires other people to follow the dream. Definitely. I think as well, when you are trying to launch a business, especially social media, it's so easy to get sucked up into like, wow, look at Frankie, like she's just launched this fashion brand yeah. and she's selling all these clothes and it's all amazing. Now she's doing this and yeah. doing that and everything's so beautiful, which it is, but you can't really get across, especially to followers when you're trying to connect, like it's been a journey and it is hard. It's so hard. And people that are starting out, especially like yourself, I'm sure you hit times and you was like, oh, does everyone struggle this much? Like, yeah. Is everybody in this position? Yeah. And just maybe even like with knowing other people that are on the same path as you, like, yes, it's hard. Just keep going. You will reach that point. Yeah, you where will get there. You're like, thank God. God, this is yeah. everything that I wanted, yeah. and we're here. Yeah, like, I did it, and you will get there. Like, just follow your heart. But, like, from now, like, my plan moving forward is to 
hopefully one day get in oh it's in a boutique now it's yeah in a, bo- a local boutique and it's going into another one this week which i'll show more about on instagram and stuff yeah. this week and yeah grow the collection get like i would love to get into like a large department store yeah. like one day like have a concession like that's always been my dream and yeah hopefully I'll make it happen and as well I always like I've always gone off vision boards like yeah. through this journey I've always had a vision board I know that definitely so, vision boards are big <laughs> yeah so currently on my vision board is Molly May I'm just going to shout it out so you know <laughs> we'll Molly May uh, this will happen <laughs> Molly May in the off the shoulder blazer it's always been a dream and a vision like the picture in my head is so clear of Molly in this blazer she would look stunning in the blazer as well yeah, like, so, it's so her vibe so why not like try Try it, like put it on your vision board and shout out to the universe and bring it to your life. Let's do that. (laughs) (laughs) Oh no, that's good. Like it's been nice and I've learnt so much as well. Even being your friend, like the journey I think I think for me the biggest shock was when Joe Short sold his watch and I was like Wow. Wow. Like, Like speaking to Joey believes in you like massively, but that's such a nice support for you. So yeah, yeah, hopefully your followers and everyone will be able to connect more and understand and we've not just waffled yeah. for this much time. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed it. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks.